Cubicles are by far the housing system of choice of Irish dairy farmers. A cow will spend 12 to 14 hours of her day lying down if she has a comfortable place to lie, and it is during this time she manufactures milk. She rarely lies for this length of time in a cubicle house, except in the very best cubicles. Research has shown that cows will milk better if they spend more time lying, preferably between 12 and 14 hours a day. It is, therefore, really important that the cubicle is a comfortable place for the cow to lie in and also to stand in. Chagas recommends that the cubicle step, excluding the mat, is 150 to 175 millimetres or 6 to 7 inches high. The cubicle step here is 150 millimetres or 6 inches. As a cow backs out of the cubicle, there is a lot of pressure on her back feet. You can feel the pressure yourself as you step backwards off a step, and bear in mind that a cow is about eight times the weight of an average person. A high step would add to the pressure on the cow's back feet. The cubicles here are 1.17 metres wide, or 3 feet 10 inches, and given the space-sharing nature of the cubicle design, that is, no legs at the back, this width is adequate. We normally fit four cubicles in our standard 4.8 metre bay. A cubicle mat is essential. Here, the farmer who calves part of the herd in October and November in order to produce liquid milk uses sawdust mixed with lime to soak any milk that might leak. The cows on this farm are Holstein Friesian with an average weight of 579 kilos. The length of the head-to-head -head cubicles here is 2.4 metres, or 8 feet each. You can see this cow that weighs 585 kilos using the full length of the cubicle to get up. The 2.4 metre cubicle allows the cows to lie down and get up without having to bend their head and neck sideways. The brisket board ensures that the cow lies in the right position and that the faeces falls most of the time into the passageway. The brisket board here is 1.7 metres from the cubicle step. A rounded brisket board that is not too high, like this one, is very suitable. This is a 127 millimetre 5 inch pipe with 8 to 10 millimetres thick walls, so it is stronger than Waven piping. International work would suggest that the brisket board or pipe should be at most 100 millimetres above bed level. Here the design of the cubicle allows the neck rail or head rail to be positioned 1.27 metres above floor level so the cow can stand in her natural posture in the cubicle. A flexible neck band would be a suitable alternative to the steel pipe. The passageway width here between the feed barrier and the cubicle is 4.6 metres or 15 feet wide. This provides ample room for cows to stand and feed cows to back out of the cubicle and room for cows to move up and down the passageway. 4.3 metres would be a satisfactory width but this passageway will be used for cows coming in and out of a grazing block on that side of the farm during the summer so it is made a little wider. The crossover passageway here is 3.5 metres wide and slatted. Three cubicles have been left out. If you have a solid crossover point, we recommend a step up of 100 millimetres or 4 inches, although the step up here is 150 millimetres. The passageway here between the cubicles is 2.74 metres or 9 feet wide. This facilitates a degree of comfort in cow movement and the herding of the cows. The cubicles at the wall are 2.6 metres long or slightly longer than the head-to-head -head cubicles to give cows adequate lunging room and you can see that this cow is fully using this space. Further details are available in the Chagask Dairy Manual or from your advisor.